Hey everyone, it's Chris again with another video for you all. Today I have the Nextbit Robin here. I have an unboxing. I um, just wanted to show you all what comes in the box, go over the phone. Um, I have owned this phone already um, for several months, um, but I just wanted to kind of show you all what you get, kind of the packaging experience, even though I've been using the device already. Okay, so this is definitely not your standard box as you can see. Um, this kind of slips right off there, kind of like a book, so it opens right up and it says, hey Robin, or hey Rebel, meet Robin. Very like a, a book experience that kind of shows you some information here already about the device. You get your first look of the phone and your cabling here. Go ahead and get that pulled out. So you can see it has some writing, it says up here we got, and down here, these are your speakers. Pull that out. And we'll just go ahead and set this off to the side for right now. And you got a cable about three feet long, matches the same coloring as the phone, so that's pretty nice. Um, universal, not so much universal, but a matching and you got your SIM ejector tool and their cloud um, logo. All right, and then back here you just got some additional information with your warranty and guides, things like that. So we'll go ahead and just uh, get this placed back in here. We have the phone. So this is a 5.2 inch 1080p IPS LCD screen with Gorilla Glass 4. Okay, we have two front facing speakers in the top and the bottom, so I'm not sure if you can actually uh, see that. Okay, you have your front facing camera, which is a 5 megapixel, and then you have your ambient light sensor, which is nice because it all kind of matches uniform. Alright, down over here on the right hand side okay you have your fingerprint sensor power on and off button and you also then have your sim sim tray there at the bottom you have a USB-C port which does support quick charging 2.0 you have microphone and there's also a notification light which is a strange location to place it down at the bottom um, I'm definitely never really gotten used to it um, I don't really see why they put it down there, but I guess my only uh, thought is, I'll tell you in just a moment. You got your volume up and down buttons. Again, the circular theme going on to match the speakers, ambient light sensors, things like that. Up here you do have a headphone jack and another microphone. Now here comes where my um, idea as to why they put the light and things like that down here to match, again, the theme of symmetry at the top and the bottom. Okay, now on to the back where the fun begins. You have your 13 megapixel rear camera with face detection autofocus, a dual LED flash, you have your Nextbit logo and branding here. And then just below the logo you have these four LEDs. So basically Nextbit, um, their idea ideology is cloud storage okay so it does come with 100 gigs of cloud storage which will be able to back up photos videos or in the future videos um, and apps and app data that you have on your phone so if your phone runs out of storage um, it'll automatically back up that information up to the cloud to save space on your device and not only is it cloud storage it's smart so it learns how you use apps um, ones that you don't use frequently it'll automatically archive them okay so those lights light up um, when it's backing up to the cloud you can have it sync only when it's charging or on Wi-Fi that sort of thing okay so that's a phone. It's a pretty, th uh, very, very thin phone actually, uh, just about maybe seven millimeters. Okay, um, pretty light as well. Um, only thing is, this is not an entire screen. That is one gripe I do kind of have about it. Um, so you can see there's the black bezels all the way around. Um, 
again, I would either have liked to have seen a smaller phone print for a 5.2 inch phone, um, but can't complain really. Very light, like I said, the material is um, something else. It's not cheap feeling. Um, it has a very light, uh, very soft, soft touch material all around it. It just feels really nice in the hand to touch and hold. Um, I just find myself kind of um, every once in a while just wanting to touch the the plastic and things like that. So yes, it is made out of plastic. Um, so this is um, internals. You have a Snapdragon 808. Okay. Um, so it is an older processor, 3 gigs of RAM, 32 gigs onboard storage. Okay, and again, the 100 gigs of cloud storage that comes with it. You got the front facing stereo speakers. It does come with NFC, fingerprint scanner, like I'd already mentioned on the side. Okay, this is GSM unlocked um, from Nextbit. So that's going to work on ATT, T Mobile, and other carriers. All right. Um, so if you go ahead and turn the screen on. Um, I'm, I have this rooted, so that's another great thing about Nextbit. They encourage um, unlocking, rooting your devices, flashing custom ROMs, things like that. Um, their warranty actually covers if you were to brick the device um, for them to replace it for you, so that's, that's awesome. Um, definitely, um, they've come a long ways from when they were trying to get this backed on Kickstarter. Okay, so definitely they have three colors of the robin here. So this is going to be their mint, um, I guess their mint color, you could say. Um, they do also have a, um, a midnight color, which is like a dark black, blue kind of type color. Um, they actually are not selling actually the, uh, the ember color, which was a black with a red fiery ember accent um, which they don't have it it was for a limited time but not anymore um, so this is going for 300 if you buy it directly from Nextbit um, Amazon they've been having many sales I've seen it as low as 170 brand new um, on Amazon so um, so yeah so let me just set that one aside real quick um, the USB-C cable is flat which is nice um, it does kind of have this type of thin um, USB-A and then your USB-C, which kind of, when plugged, in plugged into the phone, it looks very nice. Um, it almost kind of, almost the thickness of the, the phone entirely on the side, so that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, so right now I do have an AOKP ROM installed on this so this is not going to be your um, stock software on here okay I just want to let you let you all know um, I do have um, kind of like a pixel experience installed on this so this is the the pixel launcher um, I do actually have the Google assistant working on it too I'm your Google assistant I can help you find what you need and get things done if you need help just ask what can you do so how can I help So yeah, um, so Google Assistant works, fantastic. Um, and with the themes that come with uh, CM Cyanogen Mod 13, um, there is a theme that I have on here that pretty much makes it look much like the Pixel. Um, forget the name of the exact theme, but it is uh, just a dollar, which supports the, the developer. So. I'm all for that. Okay, so th this ROM, again, this actually Marshmallow 6.0.1. There is a pre-beta um, NuGet build for Omni ROM out right now. Um, I ran it for a little bit, um, but there's too many bugs that I wanted something more stable and usable from day to day. Okay, so we have all the multi-window options as well in this AOKP nightly build. And you have your Google Now side over there. Um, only thing of course is not the the weather is not working. You can install Nova Launcher on it of course as well if you wanted. 
um, which then you can, they have had the ability to add the weather widget there, um, basic functionality, but I like the clean look. Um, another thing I just want to mention, point out is I, with that same theme, they have the, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it here, but pressing on the home button you get that same uh, animation just like the pixel. So definitely pretty nice. Um, anyways, um, one thing I just do want to let everyone know, the battery life, not, not the best, not the best. Um, as far as the battery size in this, um, if I'm not mistaken, is a like 2500 milliamp hour battery. Um, so it's not not big at all. Um, with an 808, it does warm up quite a bit um, around in this area here. Um, so I usually have to throw this on the charger before the end of the day. I get roughly on average, if I'm using it quite a bit, about three hours screen on time. Um, usually two, yeah, about three hours screen on time. Um, so yeah, anyways, if you guys um, have any questions about the next bit Robin, um, shoot, um, leave comments down below. Check them out, nextbit.com. Um, great guys over there. Their support is fantastic. Um, if you have any issues with the phone, you can chat them up or call them. Um, I actually had an issue with a previous device. Um, I got it replaced with them. Um, the person I spoke to on the phone, I called them back and I actually reached the same person. So it's actually kind of, they're a small company, um, but just being able to know that you got the same person and they knew what who, you're, who you were, that was kind of pretty cool. Um, anyways, thanks again for watching. Um, please like and subscribe down below. Um, leave comments for me and hopefully I'm able to bring you more videos here in the near future. Take care you all.